Hello everyone, my name is Akerele Oluwa Shugo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a conditional function which we call can't if in Excel. Can't if in Excel. So can't if is used to count number of items based on criteria. Can't if is used to count the number of items based on criteria. Criteria means condition. Today we are going to learn how to use can't if to count the number of staff in each of the departments we have in this example and i also want to visualize it, visualize the the numbers in a graph i want to visualize it in a graph so what i need to do is to get the head count for each of the department and also use it to create a visual i want to create a column chart in excel so before i start using a function I want to create my chart first so as I'm counting the each of the department it will be displaying in my chart so all I need to do first is to select the table is to align the table align the table and go to my insert tab under the insert tab I'll go to my chart group and I click on the column chart. I want it to be in a column chart. So there's a drop down arrow beside the column chart. So which I can select which of this column chart do I want to pick? Is it 2D or 3D column chart? So I'm going to pick the 2D column chart in Excel. 2D column chart in Excel. So I'm going to pick 2D column chart in Excel. So now I have my column chart here already so but i don't have number for each of the departments so i'm going to use the can't if to get that okay all right i'll go back to my table under my table the to get the head count so i will type equal symbol and i'll type can't if can't if so when i'll type can't if so i'll open the function before i open the function excel will tell you what that function does you can see count number of cell within a range that meet a given condition just like the way i explained earlier so i'll open the function by double clicking on the blue box where i have the name can't if so this function only have two criteria the range and the the function only have two arguments rather the range and the criteria so the range is where this department appears that is the range so i'll go to my worksheet where i have all the details of the department so i will go to this worksheet where i have all the details of the department so what i need to do is to tell excel that excel should look through all the departments for me so i'll click on the first department there and i press ctrl and shift downward arrow to highlight all the departments so i'm telling excel that i should go through all the departments for me so i'm going to lock this range locking means when you make the cell address absolute so how do i lock i press function f4 function f4 to lock that range when i lock the range you see a dollar sign in front of my cell address you see the dollar sign so comma the last argument is the criteria so excel will ask me which department do i want to count out of all the department that you have highlighted so i'll go back to my worksheet go back to the worksheet so my criteria is sales so i click on the first department that i want to count sales so if you are not clicking you can also put it in a double quote sales so it's just, it works the same way so i'll press enter you can see when i press enter now so it will tell me that the department sales I only have 21 people immediately it got the head count you can see it's showing in the chart so all i need to do is to copy down the formula for everything so i put my cursor i place my cursor on the auto fill handle edge your cursor will change to a dark cross you double click on that edge when you double click on the edge excel will auto fill the formula for you you can see it's showing in my chart immediately it's showing in my chart immediately so all i need to do is to format my chart and add you format chart in excel click on the chart if you have into an and above version of excel it's easier to format chart 
in Excel without version. So when you click on your chart, you see a plus sign in front in, beside your chart. Click on the plus sign. So that plus sign is used to format the chart element. So what I need to do is to remove the grid lines. These horizontal lines are called grid lines in Excel. So I will click on, I will check the grid lines so that my chart to be neater. So I also want to re remove the vertical axis and leave the horizontal axis alone. So when I click on the axis, I will click on the forward arrow beside the axis and I will check primary vertical to remove the hashtag so i also want to put the data label on top of each of the bar so i want i will check data label and see it will show on top of each of the bar i can also format the old chart the background if i want to format the whole chart i'll go to on top when you click on your chart you see a button called chart choose where you have your design and format so i can change the design of the chart and pick another design so i have various design that i can use under the chart style when i click on the drop down arrow you see different chart style that you can use in excel you can see different chart style that you can use so there are various chart style that you can pick from here so you can also change the data label how it appear when you click on the forward arrow in front of the data label so you can tell data label to be outside end it will be on top you can see outside end so depending how you want it to be so you can click you want it to be inside end it will also show inside end so that's how to use count e functions and also you to create a chart and also how to format your chart in Excel. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo.